Well, Joey and Diana, we can tell you that five students have been arrested, and they believe that these are all separate incidents. Aside from a gun going off inside the high school, police found two other guns, a knife and drugs. Now, right now behind me, you can see that the school is pretty quiet and peaceful, but it was a quite different story earlier today. We're told a handful of students were in the hallway when it happened shortly before 1 p.m. Showing off, a 16-year-old pulled out a 9-millimeter handgun from his book bag. It discharged, hitting a locker. When the gun went off, we saw a flash. And like, when a, like when the bullets came out, like the shell hit the locker. So everybody started running and screaming. People dodged for cover? Uh-huh. Like teachers and um, staff members. How many people were in the hallway when it happened? Like 10. We was able to um, be calm and we was able to take it nicely instead of um, reacting in a bad way. It was, yeah, it was kind of scary. No one was hurt, but Harper Woods High School immediately went into lockdown. The middle school, which is attached, was also on lockdown. As police were sweeping the building, they found a 40 caliber handgun as well as a 22 caliber, and one of those were loaded as well. They also found a knife in a few of the lockers. Also discovered two types of pills and other drugs. We've had very few incidents over here. It's a, as you can see, it's a brand new facility. It's a, you know, gorgeous school and it's a great environment. It's a great kids. Uh, we have very few problems here, but uh, something like this obviously just brings home the need to parents to check your kids and if kids know that the, uh, their friends have guns, they need to tell somebody. We have a very serious responsibility to keep students safe and secure at all times. Unfortunately, we didn't meet that expectation today. And in order to meet that expectation, we have to do our jobs and kids and families have to do theirs as well. We have to work together to keep our schools safe. And all five students that were taken into custody will most likely be taken to a detention center, though their charges are not known right now. But school officials will be meeting to discuss ways to make sure that something like this never happens again. Live in Harper Woods, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.